Hey what's up guys, Zaki here and welcome back to the channel and in these videos we are going to talk about Tower of Fantasy 2.3 livestream and basically breaking out that 45 minute videos into a very short one so you can watch and understand what's the upcoming update even though you're playing on the global version. Now I know the global version has already reached 2.0, slightly different a little bit but everything else in the map is basically the same, the gifts are different, the, the new equipments are different but I'll make a different review videos for that. Now in these videos, we're gonna break down that videos into information that's easier for you. New character, upcoming event, and basically if you play the CM version, I hope this helps you as well. So first off, they mentioned that Rubila is going to be a boss fight, but we don't know whether she is going to be a world boss fight. I'm pretty sure assuming she's standing on Hera's uh, battle arena, this could be a third phase or be, maybe this could be a raid boss fight in that arena. Now moving on, we also have uh, two new characters introduced which is Joy Mia as well as Icarus, right? And then Shiro and Ana will also be involved in the future storyline. Now not sure if this is a main story or a side story but considering from the PV, I'd like to believe this is a main story. Next off, we have our new world character called Fenri and um what weapon is she using people are very confused what does that even mean but uh, if you google it it means gladney and if you google translate uh, if you google chinese trans uh, translate image this is what you see so maybe she's fighting with a costume i really don't know she's holding a mic here she could be a support they never mention whether she's a shadow or anything but she is a wolf element now pretty obvious the next character we all thought it was wolf element turns out to be physical while we thought fenry is going to be physical turned out to be wolf umi right so her birthday was actually yesterday and she is using a whip very straightforward and she's going to be a physical dps not much has been teased but if you want to see her third skin uh three star skin is over right here I don't dig it, I like her 1 star skin and I do not main physical team so I might just pull one copy of her and just stop there just to showcase. Now in the live stream they also talk about the new tropical map, a lot of exploration, more puzzles as usual. When it comes to exploration I don't think I want to break it down, let's just save it as a surprise if you want to join me. Make sure to come to my live stream on YouTube, I stream on YouTube, I don't, know, I don't stream on Twitch yet I guess. And uh, yeah, uh, a lot of more puzzles. You got this little big egg right here, right? Apparently if you feed whatever it is, like you feed different things, it will come out different kind of monsters. Aside from that, the tropical always rains and there's some sort of poison and stuff and like that. But basically it's just more puzzles. Now moving on, we also have new boss fight. Now this is going to be world boss fight. One is going to be Damikra. Uh, I don't know if I call it right from Resident Evil. It's going to be a two-phase fight as well. And this one, this little... Thing that's riding a cloud, puffy cloud, is also going to be a two-phase boss fight. If I'm not mistaken, if I listen correctly, and then over here we got two new joint op. One joint op is going to be a <laughs> a clubbing fight where you fight three boss directly while dodging some rhythm game dodge. And then the next one we also have a little bit of more of the hyena style. Back to 1.0. Um, after clearing some stage, you're gonna ride a <laughs> a monster truck. <laughs> And then after getting the monster truck, you'd reach the boss fight. Now I'm not sure about what you get from this joint up yet, so uh, stay tuned for that. And then we also have new event. I'm not sure what this is yet, but from what we understand, it's new event. I hope it's new event or maybe a new system, we really don't know. And they also introduced fishing system where uh, they actually showcase it in Astra. I'm pretty sure you can also fish in Vera or maybe in the underwater row. And then it, you can buy fishing rod, upgrade and unlock some stuff. And then you eventually can go back to your web, like uh, Miroria's apartment and then leave those fish in your tank. Not a big fan of this kind of a lifestyle immersion. I'm more of a combat person so hopefully there are people who are the, those kind of completionists that want to fish everything. Uh, I know people are gonna think that this is just like uh, Genshin Impact but uh, fishing is very normal in an MMORPG. Next up, um, something that I'm very excited, even though I said I don't like mini games, but it's, it seems like they introduced, they finally add mechanic and animation to the bowling system, so very excited. Uh, all that's left is the pool and snooker system, we really, billiard system, we really need that. And then we also have Mahjong, and to those Chinese who have played Mahjong, I think you are gonna dominate this when Global come out. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna get my Myriad Coins by gambling, same thing, just different game. And also in the CM version, they mentioned some sort of a discount packages and stuff like that, so if you're playing and you're playing to top up, um, yeah. And we also have Halloween event where we kill Palas and Lucia again and her their daughter Harley Quinn. 
not sure the rewards, but uh, this is something for us just to beat every single day. I hope they I hope they introduce something more entertaining. So aside from that, they also mentioned a Q&A session saying, what is there going to be any new aberration character aside Ling Ye, Ling Ye, Ling Ye, Ling Ye, Ling Ye Jie Jie. Okay, I got that right. So they mentioned it's going to be one, otherwise Ling is going to be very lonely, but they're they saying they said that it's not going to be so fast. Aside from that, they also mentioned some sort of a new equipment upgrade system. I'm not sure if it's a new equipment or maybe the equipment that we're currently wearing or we're uh, gonna get some sort of improvement and stuff like that. So hopefully it makes rolling for stat easier. We don't know, but they said there's gonna be something new. And aside from that, they're asking whether we forgot about the where about uh, the reason why we came to Wera. And then they mentioned that yeah, we remember and it's name is uh, Shirley wanting to find Zeke again. And they are definitely going to reunite before the anniversary so it's very exciting to if you want to watch how the story goes i do play the story of cn version on my stream so you can also join me if you want and number four we also have the underwater map and i know i over exaggerate a little bit on my clip right there but i really really honestly deep down in my heart i am really that excited so it's the underwater map is going to be on the anniversary and they mentioned it's going to be a twice as big as Wera. so wow that's actually very very big right so I think that's all the information. Um, if I do miss out some, I guess I am I am missing out some. But aside that, I don't think I miss anything out. I think I, I'm very happy to have new join up, new world boss to fight. Perhaps we need more global players in the CN version now. And I'm really looking forward to Fenry since I also main world in CN. And aside that, I guess the world boss is gonna be difficult. Nothing much. Nothing else, I guess. So I'm most excited to see where the story goes in case you don't know I am a Chinese but I'm not very good at Chinese but I do understand the story a little bit and I want to see whether Zeke might just be the new aberration character that's my guess I did not confirm that all right I don't think there's a lot of content creators out there you should check it out like Kyrios, uh, Moon, EO, GTO definitely if you want to check it out I'm just around the community and just express how I think about this game all right Thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart again. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hey, it's just a gaming channel.